Hello, my name is Jemmy. Today I'm making a product calculator with the VAT. So, um, as you can see, it's really simple. First of all, we're going to import all this, um, which is default. So, like, the TK enter and the TTK, then the message box. So, we could, then the message box so we could um, make our program. And then for the GUI equal to TK, uh, yeah, put all this stuff in. For GUI.title, this is for what we're going to, um, like name our window then we're going to set how big our window is going to be so right now it's 400 times 300 after that we're going to set the font to ang santa new which everybody should have so we don't get like we have to download font just use this one and then um this is to put in a text um explaining of what they have to do so they have to enter their product name um so like what their product like product name is like coffee or Um, chocolate and then this one is uh, to print it I'm pretty sure yeah and then e1 equal TTK this one is to set uh, the I think it's how big the text box is yeah the text box and then L equal to TTK dot label this is another um, text it says enter your product price so it's like how expensive your product is and uh, the last one is to enter your product amount so how much you're gonna buy after that oh sorry this one's for testing hold on let's look at this <laughs> watch too much techno blade um so define math so now we're going to calculate the name of the product i mean we're not calculating it but we're going to calculate the price of all products uh, excluding the vat vat of a single product and vat of all product and total of all product so yeah what we're going to do here is we're going to um uh, right, right here, we're just going to print the name and the price and the amount normally. And then down here, we're going to uh, calculate the um, the price of all product, which is to times the price and the amount. And it would equal to, uh, right here, the formula is price times amount, as I said. And remember to convert them into integers or floats because uh, one is that this is a string right now, so we have to convert them. And now in here is to, uh, like to calculate the bat. So instead of using uh, normal integers, right now we're going to use um, float because some bats are going down to decimals. So use a float instead of integer because it will be more um, precise and it can do decimals because integers can't and floats can't. After that, we're going to do W VAT, which is the whole VAT. So we are figuring out the VAT of one, um, a single product, right? Now we're going to get that uh, VAT and then times the amount again. So now we're going to get the whole VAT. After that, we're going to add the VAT plus the mol um, the uh, overall price, which would equal to W VAT plus um, mole price, which is every uh the price times the amount so yeah that's pretty simple and then after that we get a button saying calculate and um command equals to math which is right here since we defined it and set how big the button is so let's test it okay so we're going to start out we're going to make it really simple because we don't want it that hard so pretend coffee okay right and then in here what do we want um so I know this calculation, that's why I'm doing it. So product price is 100 and um, the amount is one. So here we are, value of single product is seven and overall is seven because we only have one product and overall in total is 107. This is very useful if you want to like calculate how expensive your um, like online, uh, how do you call it, online 
marketing or shopping is going to be. So yeah, make this program and you would calculate it, not using your head, because I'm too lazy to do that. Yeah, and this all of this is based on my Wikipedia video. I used it and I used the code and made this. So yep, remember that uh, you can always use from other programs to develop your own programs even further. And that's it for this video. See you in the next episode. Bye.